When you link your Google Search Console account to GA4, you actually get access to all of your Search Console data uh, right in the GA4 interface. So the linking process is pretty straightforward. You just go to the admin area and then go down to product links and you'll see Search Console right here as an option. Uh, this one's already linked, but if it wasn't, you would just click link and then that brings you to a screen where you could just select the right Search Console property. Uh, but what I always like doing after I set the link up is actually navigating to the reporting area and actually adding a new report right in the interface here for Google Search Console. Uh, one of the nice things about GA4 is this uh, interface is all customizable. You can delete reports that you don't want. You can create new ones and custom ones um, and edit this navigation here. So the Search Console ones, uh, Google has made pretty easy to just integrate. Uh, if you click on Library, this will take a second to load, but once this loads, you'll see uh, all of the reports. And then up here in Collections, we'll actually see Search Console right here. So all we need to do is click there and click Publish. And what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna add those pre-built Search Console reports uh, right to our interface. So now every time you go to your reporting area, you actually have this Search Console dropdown uh, where you can get your query data that you would normally get inside of Search Console um, right here. So I'll show that what that looks like. There is some charts here at the top that you can change, but essentially you have all of your uh, keyword data and query data right here uh, with some a lot of the metrics you would expect to see in Search Console.